and the wind just caught it a certain way and it just lifted all of the hair up oh, and really? i saw it our um wedding photos like i was dreading one day having to do those yeah like, wedding photos and whatever and going oh crap like what if the wind blows yeah like if you're spending 200 something dollars plus um a month on your hair you know you kind of have to look at is is that worth it how's it going everyone and welcome back to a classic episode of the Bowl Cafe podcast. Today, we've got Bryce here on the podcast sharing his story. Maybe there's some of you watching, worrying about your hair loss, you wanna know more, you wanna be inspired to embrace that bold look. Bryce is here to tell his story. So it started, um, I would say, I started noticing, like, it wasn't the back of my head. Yeah. It was just a receding hairline around, I would say, like 17 years old. Um, at the time, and like throughout my life, I, I played trombone like professionally for a while, so there was like a lot of stress involved um, with that, and I think that might have um, maybe progressed it a little faster, but yeah, so it started at 17, and I kind of noticed it creeping back, Yeah. and um, I, you know, kind of talked to my dad a little bit about it. Cause again, like he is, his hair, he looks exactly like me, like from the back, people think we're like the same person. It's actually kind of funny. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. So I was like, Oh, what's happening? And you know, there was nobody more into their hair than me. Like it right. was like, that was my thing, yeah. you know, like, and so when that started happening, that was like, that was crushing. You know, I was like going, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? And then, of course, my brother has like a full, thick head of hair. Oh, you know? really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, but he grayed early. So, you know, we're kind of like even on that. Right. But, yeah, so I was super upset about it at first. And, um, you know, it was just like, oh, it'll be fine. It'll happen like years down the road. And I just kind of like put it off. And no one really said anything like in high school about it. It wasn't like a, oh you're losing your hair or whatever it was more of like oh your dad doesn't have hair so you or your brother won't you know and at yeah. the time i had kind of like longer hair um so i could cover it up pretty you know and like the whole zach efron yeah era of hair you know i could kind of like cover it up and then once i got a little bit older then i you know cut it down to short and that's when i really noticed it started to to, to go back right and I would say, like, freshman year of college is when it just started, like, going quick. Yeah. Uh, like, you saw the pictures. It was, like, year after year after year. It was, like, boop, boop, boop. It was, like, a, yeah. like an inch a year or something like that. And actually, it was kind of interesting for me to see that because I had never really gone through my pictures and actually put them back to back to back yeah. to see uh, the progression. I'm like, oh, damn. I like, guess you obviously saw yourself every day, right? So it was just like, yeah. you maybe it wasn't that big shock. You were just sort of, right. it was gradual for you. But I guess, yeah, like you said, when you put those side by side, you know, a year yeah. on, you can kind of see right. it. Yeah, you right. can see it go back noticeably. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. And so, and then uh, once I got to college, you know, I did do like the whole Rogaine thing. Right. Um, it didn't really do anything for me at all. No. Um, didn't really touch it. And then I moved, I mean, I've spent Oh man, there was this one point in time that I was spending like hundreds of dollars a month on like hair products, just trying really? to like keep it keep it from yeah. going in. I would do like the maximum strength Rogaine, and then there was this other. I was getting my hair cut. I would say this, you know, kind of fast forwarding, not fast forwarding, but you know, I was like maybe a couple years later, I would always get my hair cut by the same person, and finally mm. he was like, "Oh yo, you know, you're like losing your hair," and I'm like, "Yeah, I know, it's like kind of receding." He's like, "No, no, no, like." back here all right um, and i had no idea i was like yeah like no I didn't know that so then he's like yeah there's this hair product man i can't remember what it was called but it was like a shampoo and conditioner and like this like three-step thing and he's like you know it works really well and i was like okay and of <laughs> course it was 80 dollars a bottle yeah so you're staring down the barrel at like 200 plus dollars for like the whole thing and that lasts you a month yeah so it was an expense but again i was like there's nobody more into their hair than me. And I yeah. was like, oh, let's, let's do it. And so I was doing it. It still didn't really help. Um, and it still just kept going back and back and back. And and then finally, uh, the girl who, um, my wife, I was dating her at the time. Yeah. She was like, why don't you just like shave it off? Because oh, okay. my dad, my dad like buzzed it off. Yeah. You know? 
Um, and you know, and I was like, oh yeah, you know, like Jason Statham does that. Like that looks really good. And like at the time, I still wasn't like really wanting to do that. Yeah. And so I would have people like I'd be in a room studying, and I'd face away from the door, and you know, like those study doors have like a little glass window. Yeah. Like, I had friends come in, just knock on the door, literally open the door, and be like, hey, you know, you're balding, right? Oh really? Like, yeah. I know. Thank you. You know what I mean? And that was just, and it would just like get my confidence down and confidence yeah. down and confidence down. It was just like brutal. Cause everyone's like, you know, and of course also when you're bald, so I lived in Boston for six years and like, I couldn't wear a beanie because yeah. like, you know, once you wear a beanie, then your, your hair, like you work so hard on your hair to make it, it would lose the style that you could achieve in that. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then you like mat it down and then it looks so bad. You yeah, know? So yeah. I didn't wear a beanie. And if I wore a hat, I was like stuck with a hat all day. Yeah. Like, you know, wouldn't take it. I didn't wear hats very often, but that was kind of, you know, that there was that issue. Yeah. It was anyway. So later, you know, so I would go through that and people like talking about it and she's like, just shave it off. And I'm like, ah, I don't know. And then that summer after I graduated, um, the summer that we got engaged, actually, I shaved it yeah. or buzzed it, I guess, actually like pretty short. And it, it, you know, like now looking back on it, it was like kind of a weird moment because you like you've been looking at yourself with hair on your head since birth. Yeah, basically. your whole life. Yeah, your whole life. So when you shave it off, you're like, oh, my gosh, this kind of looks kind of weird. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you're like, I look weird, you know, it's a totally different look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a completely different look. But then I would say like after a day or two of getting used to it, it's kind of like when I used to have a, a kind of a beard, not like yours, yours yeah. is epic, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I used to have kind of a beard. It's like when you shave your beard off, also yeah. you're like, oh my gosh, I look like a baby, that yeah. kind of thing, yeah. sort of similar. So anybody who's watching this, like, don't freak out, it'll pass, I promise. Um, and I would say like, you know, a couple of days later, I'm like, this is awesome. Yeah. And then I could wear a hat and take it off and it'd be fine. Or like I could, my big thing, oh yeah, now, now that I just remember this, my big thing was actually I would get up at like 5 a.m. to go to the gym every day. Yeah. And I would never go to the gym without a hat because my hair wouldn't be done. Right. And of course, I'm not going to do my hair before I go to the gym. That's like freaking pointless. Yeah. So I just throw on a hat. And I remember the first time waking up 5 a.m. going, I don't have to do anything. This is great. Yeah. And I just went to the gym, you know? And now it's gotten to the point, you know, like a couple years later. So I've had it shaved for like, or buzz for like three, three, four, going on four years now. Mm. And now, like, I'll totally just like make jokes about it, you know, just because yeah. I'm like, yeah, obviously I don't have hair. Right. Mm. So like my cousin, she just had a baby and I was rubbing <laughs> the baby's head and yeah. I was like, hey, we got to feel like just like similar. mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's just it's just amazing. Like the difference that. You know, it's so like freeing when you just take it off, yeah. you know, and you don't have to worry about it yeah. because like when, when you take it off, you're, you know, it's just, you don't have to worry about it anymore. It's you just, know? it's done, right? It's you've, you've, um, you've, how do I say that? You've conquered it. You've just, you've just put a <laughs> yeah. stop to it, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's, I guess it's similar for um you know and because it, it's such a especially when it happens at such a young age like if all of a sudden it starts happening when you're like 30 40 that's like more people are like oh well that's kind of supposed to happen yeah, yeah. supposed to happen but like when it happens at such a young age all of your friends pretty much have a lot of hair so yeah. it's like so you know and you like live with it for so long when you finally get rid of it you're just like sweet i don't have to worry such about a relief it. right yeah this yeah. is great. Yeah, so relieving. Yeah. So relieving. And then, you know, talking about it like three years down the road, it has been awesome. Like, you know, like our engagement photos, our um, wedding photos. Like, I was dreading one day having to do those. Yeah. Like, wedding photos and whatever. I'm going, oh, crap. Like, what if the wind blows? Yeah. It moves my hair the wrong way, you know? Like, Oh man, I remember this one. Time, this is actually kind of funny. I remember this one time in Boston. I was walking down the street and I saw my shadow, and the wind blew. And it wasn't like a. I didn't have like a comb over. You saw it. It was just like kind of. It was very short on top. Yeah. It wasn't a comb over at all. But I definitely used product to keep it like from moving. And the wind just caught it a certain way, and it just lifted all of the hair up. Oh, and really? I saw it, and that was like. 
probably a month before I buzzed it off. And right. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm getting rid of that. I'm yeah. like, no, we're buzzing this. I'm like, I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. So, yeah. So it's awesome to hear that you your now wife was she, she was the first person that sort of said like why why don't you just shave it was was yeah. she the person who kind of just put that thought in your mind initially or what did you ever or did you think about it doing it yourself was she the one that sort of gave you that encouragement yeah yeah so um so like i said my dad and i have very similar hair my grandfather has the same hair my great uncle has the same hair so it's like very a very uh like hereditary thing for yeah. sure uh, uh um yeah but to answer your question yeah she kind of was uh, you know my dad had had buzzed it a few years before that because he was sick of it and he was done with it and he felt great but like the thought of me buzzing it along with him never really occurred to me for some reason i'm yeah. not really sure why yeah um but yeah she was actually the first person that was like you know why don't you just buzz it off yeah. Like you would, look, you would look great with it buzzed off, just buzz it off. And I was like, oh, I don't know. And then actually, her mom, my mother-in-law now, yeah, was like, yeah, you should just buzz it off. Like, there's so many people. She's actually the vice president for Hendrick Automotive here in the United States okay. of accounting. So she's like, yeah, there's so many people in like our office that just have it buzzed or shaved or whatever, you know. And she's like, it's not a big deal. Like yeah. they are just. Like, they all look handsome. It's, like, totally fine. Just do it. And they were both, like, very, very um, important with that. Oh, sure. okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I yeah, but I had never – yeah, to answer your question more directly, no, I had never really thought about it until she was like, why don't you just buzz it? Yeah. You know? And um, i got to touch on those wedding pictures, actually, because – and I'll, I'll put those photos in this video. But it's yeah. actually that last picture, you know, where you're, like, really happy just there looking proud yeah. on that wedding day – was such a perfect yeah. like final picture in that series. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because just to right, think yeah. about you know how how it was, you know, obviously something that's always on your mind, um, you know, and just a very gradual thing for you. Uh, and then to, yeah, just to be done with it and just to see you there on the wedding day, like looking you know looking yeah. really smart, happy. It was perfect. Yeah, it was good. I loved that. Yeah, yeah. You know, that was like a cool moment because like I didn't have to, you know. And again, I had I didn't. I, I buzzed it a couple years before that when the wedding day came came up. I remember, like, we woke up, me, my dad, my brother, and my brother-in-law just went and played golf in the morning because our wedding was, like, later. And it was great. I'm like, you know, I don't have to, like, do anything. I don't have to worry about it because, again, like, for years, I was, like, so worried about it. And I yeah. could just get on my tux and, and go. And you off know? you go. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. So. And like the wind would blow, and I would yeah. be like, "Oh crap! Oh crap!" You know, like, yeah. "Oh," and then like fixing it, trying to fix it. You know, I just like rolled with it. You know. Can do you? If you think back, I know obviously it's it's been a, a good few years now, but mm -hmm. when when it was sort of, I guess, at the height of you know when you were conscious about it and you weren't really happy happy with it, and it was you know using the products. Um, can you remember like any any of the things that you were? You know, what were the things you were worried about in necessarily or, or feared through, like, losing the hair? One of the big things um, was, for me, I was like, 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 girls wouldn't think I'm attractive anymore. Yeah, yeah. That, that was, like, the one thing. Like, I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm never going to be able to get a date ever again. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because, uh, like, who wants to date a bald dude at... 20 whatever i was at the time thinking yeah. about that um or like 17 for that matter yeah um uh so that was like probably the big thing just thinking like the confidence level of like not being attractive as attractive yeah anymore and it's a, it, i think that's a huge one you know it's it's definitely a main one for all guys who are losing their hair you know that's one of yeah. the biggest things you know um, people are going to find me it's not it's not i mean this is what it was like for me it, it's not so much, oh, I'm. Am I going to be attractive? I was thinking, I'm not. Like, I'm going to be hideous. You know, I'm going to yeah. be completely unattractive. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Exactly. You're like, you're you're thinking almost like you're going to be that like troll under the bridge that people are like, yeah. over there. No, yeah. Literally. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so that was a big thing. That was a, that was a really big thing. Um, and like, not like right at the like right when it started happening, but like I saw this. It kind of crept in as I, as it progressed. I was always a very like if um, I love taking pictures with people. That's like 
you know, I'm a pretty outgoing person, so yeah, I never shied away from a camera. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, as it started creeping away, that was also a fear of mine, like going, oh, I have to be on this side as opposed to this side because this is my better side. Like, yeah. you know, the, it, it's like combed over over here, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think so that was a big one. Having that, having those constant, that sort of constant on your mind like that, it's really draining, you know, don't you think? Oh. Like, it's just oh. yeah. always something you've got to constantly think about, worry about, and kind of manage, yeah. you know? It's such a drain right. on, on when you should be re enjoying yourself, you know, and, and, yeah. and worry about things that actually do matter and require that sort of attention and mental energy. It's, oh, it's such a drain, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, even, like, I remember the first time I went to the pool um, yeah. after I shaved my head. Uh, I keep saying shaved. I mean buzzed. Um, yeah. When I buzzed my hair hair off, it was amazing because yeah. I loved going to the pool, and that was, like, one of my favorite things to do. But, like, every time I came out of the water, it was automatically, like, shake my hair out and try to fix yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It was, like, every single time, you know? Because, like, your hair never looks worse than when it's wet, obviously. Yeah. Uh, so that was, like, a huge thing of mine, too, is going to the pool, like, oh, crap, I'm going to have... So but eventually, I would just start bringing, in a, bringing a hat, wearing that, like, you know, going under with it, and then immediately put it back. Oh, it back really? Down. Yeah. So and then that was just kind of a thing I always wore a hat at the pool. And then the first time I went to the pool with a buzzed head, I mm. was like, oh, this is great. And it just feels awesome. It feels too. awesome. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> but like it, it just to be free of all that, yeah. you know, or even like going to there's so many different scenarios that we could talk about, like going to an amusement park on a roller coaster. Yeah, that's going to screw up your hair. You know, like a beanie, like I said earlier, like a hat in the winter or, oh, a huge one of mine. Actually, this kind of like annoys my wife now. But like anytime I get in the car, if it's not frigid out or insanely hot, the windows are down. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Because for so many years, I was like, you can't have the windows down. It'll mess up my hair. Wow. Yeah. So and it was just like all the time. Like I said, there was like nobody that was more like. Of course, there's probably people, but like I was so fixated on it, mm -hmm. you know. That I put like so much of my myself into my hair. Yeah. And it's, then when I finally let it go, it was, it was amazing. Is so. it? I, I'm one thing. I'm I'm kind of just I just thought about like mm -hmm. I with hair loss and like how obviously you know different people have different personalities, different thing they worry, different things that they worry about, and. It sounds like you were similar to me, like I was genuine, generally quite a confident person, you know? Yeah. I had hobbies, I had interests, I liked how I looked, you know, I was confident yeah. in myself. And it's almost like because I was confident and happy with how I looked, when hair loss came along, it was such a big deal, you know, because yeah. that, it was going to suddenly change that, you know? Right. But then, right. I also, but then I also think that having that having that you know before hair loss having that l certain level of confidence does also mm -hmm. help to a certain extent through like getting over it and getting past it you know and then being yeah. able to be confident without hair as well it's just something i'm, I'm thinking a lot about at the moment and just seeing because yeah. you know we obviously speak to a lot of different people and some people you know they say like oh i'm short as well or you know they have other yeah. things that they feel insecure about i just think it's interesting how you know, confidence in other areas of your life, I think do play quite an important factor on how you do tackle hair loss and how you can sort of oh, move yeah. past it, you know? Definitely. Yeah. yeah, and actually like a big thing for me was um, um, <laughs> actually seeing like kind of like major celebrities, if you will, mm -hmm. kind of go through the same thing. Like yeah. it happens to literally everybody, yeah. you know? Like it can happen, to, it doesn't matter if you make, $50 million a year or $5,000 a year. It doesn't matter. Like it will happen. It doesn't matter. You know, like Bruce Willis had it happen and he just eventually shaved it. Jason Statham. Um, you know, and like most recently I would say like, I'm a huge Dwayne Johnson, like the rock fan. Yeah. Yeah. And like, you saw the picture of like the fanny pack and like the gold chain yes, and all that. Yeah. He had hair back then. Yeah. And like, you could see it was creeping like Going pretty back. bad. Yeah. You know, and then he's finally just, he finally shaves it he now shaves too. It, yeah. And just seeing that, I'm like, dude, they rock it. Like, yeah. they look badass, you know? Yeah. I'm like, this is, you know, like, why why can't we do that as yeah. well, you know? Yeah, definitely. And and it's like, it, even, and coming down a level as well, like your mother-in-law said in that, when you start to really think and you're like looking around in, in the office or, 
you know, out on the street, places where you work, things like that. And you just realize yeah. the extent of, like you said, just how many guys are going through this and, and taking this. Yeah. And it, it's it's a normal thing for guys to lose their hair. Yeah. You know, having said that, yeah, yeah, when you're 17, it's like, wow, like what? Like this early, you know? And that, of course, that's a huge, huge struggle. And I think if, the, like, you know, the message like, then to guys who are that young and are like maybe, you know, seeing those signs for the first time is, is, I think one, it doesn't happen overnight, and you can you can vouch for that, you know. I think a lot yeah, of guys think sure. when they can, oh, it's kind of receding a bit. They think they're going to wake up tomorrow, no hair, which just isn't the case, you know, just isn't the case. Yeah, right. yeah, but two, sad, yeah. but two, I think they can also know that it could be five, ten years down the line, you know. I think it gives them that time to think. Well, they can. You know, put in the work within in things like you said you were into in the, into the music and stuff like that. Yeah. They can put put their efforts into those things, knowing that well at the end they do always have this option of just shaving it off, you know, and being comfortable and, and happy and happy like that. Yeah, exactly. That's actually a really good point because I was thinking like you know like in, at seventeen I still had like a you know full hair back here. Yeah, it was just starting to recede, and I don't think. I honestly don't think that was the time to buzz it off. No, no. I think when, I think, you know, it, it would be good. It would have been really helpful for me to be like, okay, eventually you will. Yeah. You know, um, you just need to know when to like, let it go, you know? Yeah. Uh, and like, there's going to be a certain point. And I think the time when I like saw my reflect, like my, my shadow in the concrete, when it flipped up, I think that was my, okay, it's time. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of thing. No, you're so. you're so right. That's a really good point because it's almost like if you've already made peace of it with it at that young age, you mm -hmm. can kind of put more effort into just enjoying it. Like while you, I know it sounds a bit, yeah. it sounds awful, right. doesn't it? But enjoy it while you've got it, you know. Right. And and right. and not waste those years kind of worrying like is it going to go or when's it going to go. If you right. can kind of make peace with it, knowing that it's going to go. But mm -hmm. when, when I think it's, you know, I, I, it's reached its maximum I can hold on to it for, yeah. hey, I'll just shave it. And I think right. that's going to give you all the, that time with the hair, with the look, whatever. And mm -hmm. I think you'll be a lot more comfortable that way. Yeah, definitely. You know, and there's like, there are so many times that I like look back and I'm like, man, I wish I like wouldn't be like thinking so much about my hair at that point. And I was mm -hmm. like in the moment, you know, and it, yeah, and like what you said, you enjoy it while you have it. But also when you shave it off, like shave it or buzz it, like it's so great, yeah. you know, and, yeah. and it's it's just as good in in the other because, um, yeah, you have hair, but then like look like if you spend, I mean, I wouldn't spend like a super long amount of time on my hair, but definitely like I would say 25, 25 minutes a day, 20, 25 minutes a day. Yeah. So look, you just got that time back now. Now you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, enjoy it while you got it for sure. But also, you know, you'll know the time, like you'll see a picture or a shadow or something and you'll be, and you'll just like look in the mirror and be like, all right, it's time, you know? Yeah. And I think this channel is great because it helps people see that or, you know, it helps people through it or something like that. So, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So listen, you, you shared your story and I think honestly, that is a part, like part of it. We spoke off camera, you know, yeah. it, it really does help because there will be many guys out there who can really sort of relate to your your sp story sp specifically you know mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. so it's awesome but just to finish off then i suppose if you could sum up maybe just a little bit of advice for those people mm -hmm. watching you know if they are struggling yeah. with it maybe they are spending you know 200 dollars on the rogaine you know and mm -hmm. they're not sure where what to do they're obviously watching this channel thinking you know should i shave it or whatnot yeah what sort of advice would you have for those guys yeah, sir. Well, number one, I would say it's okay. Like it's it's totally fine. Again, like there was nobody I think that was more into their hair than I was, you know. And it's it's okay that it's it's going away. Like it's not a big deal. Girls will still find you attractive. Actually, there's a lot of women. Like I know Tyra Banks for a fact likes bald men more than people with hair. Oh yeah. So like. Yeah, so I saw her on an interview one time, and she's like, "Yeah, I actually think men with like bald, you know, that are balding are bald." Yeah, no, it's are, true. It's right? true. Yeah, a lot of women so, do think so that. So there you go. There's that. But also, you know, like we said earlier, enjoy it while you have it. But also, like if you're spending two hundred something dollars plus, 
um, a month on your hair. You know, you kind of have to look at is is that worth it? And one, is it working? Because like for me, it wasn't working at all. So one, definitely look if it's working at all. And if it's not, stop spending the money on it. And two, just kind of look, have like a good look in the mirror and like maybe take a couple pictures and just kind of look like, is it time? You know, like do what I, cause I had never actually flipped through and saw the year by year by year progression, Yeah, you know, photos on, on, uh, smartphones. Now you can break it down by year and just kind of maybe, you know, just, this is also a good part of like coming to terms with it too, you know, just kind of go through the years and see from year to year, um, you know, how it's progressed and, you know, just have a really good talk with yourself about like, is it time? And I can tell you that most of the time it probably, it probably, it might, most of the time it might be the time, especially if you're spending that much money on Rogaine and stuff like that. Cause it's gotten to that point, but yeah, you know, and, and I, I think the biggest thing I can say is that it's okay. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're still a good looking dude. You're going to be fine. You yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well that's a, it's a great um, place to end it. Although I do have one more question. I don't know where I fit yeah. into the interview. When you you so you first buzzed it and you and you were like oh wow like this is different like I look way different here, is there anything that helped you like get used to it or you know did you go out there in public or or was it just like okay I'm I've done it like I've I've got to commit to it or did you know did you have people supporting you through it like because yeah. one of one of the things I fear is some guys they do it. And they'll mm -hmm. look at themselves in the mirror and they'll think, oh, no, it looks terrible. You know, and they might throw the cap on and hide from it or they don't want to go out. Or, you know, yeah. some guys might be like, oh, I'll, I'll buzz it, but I'll buzz it when I'm off work for a week. So no one's going to see me. I think that's you've got to just 100 percent commit, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Sorry. So I should have definitely talked about that. So, um, yeah. So at the time, uh, my girlfriend who is now my wife was was gone um so she actually because she and i lived at in different states at the time so i actually had uh my mom actually help me yeah uh, because she did my dad's hair all the time so i was like perfect let's just do it yeah um so i had my mom help me and then that night we had a birthday party cool so I was like, let's do it tonight. And yes. like, I, like our family and friends and everybody came over and I was the one that answered the door every yeah. time. And it was hilarious to see they're like, <laughs> yeah. oh, you finally did it. That's awesome. You know, and like everyone thought it was great. And most of the time I would say everybody's going to think it's awesome. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, definitely don't like do it on a Monday, you know, or do it Sunday night. So you literally have all week to go through you know, work or school or whatever, Yeah. you know, don't, don't hide it. And I would also say, have somebody with you to do it for you or, you know, or just be there with you, whether it's a friend, a, you know, a girlfriend, boyfriend or like whatever, you know, just yeah. like have somebody there to help you through it. Because yeah, when you do, when you do it at first, like I said, you know, you've had hair on your head for your entire life. You're going to be like, Okay, this is different, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, and it will take a few days for you to get used to looking in the mirror, you know? Um, but, yeah, I would definitely say have somebody with you to do it. And also do it at, like, like Sunday night of the work week or do it before a big party like I did or something like that to, like, really get you into it. Have, like, a bunch of people see you and then, you know, get that affirmation. Because you really do need that, you know, yeah. that confirmation of like oh this looks good you know yeah yeah and people just say like yeah good for you man you know i mm -hmm. i had a lot of that and i think that really helped people just saying like oh good for you like you know mm -hmm. that was a, a good choice especially if they yeah. see your it's you know your you, you've made that decisive decision yourself you know you've yeah. done it with conviction is what i want to say you know mm -hmm. uh, and people yeah. really respect that right yeah yeah and just one more thing that i was thinking about after you you um you know take it all off and everything um to just you know kind of like take a chance with things you know like yeah. that's your that's your time to like take a chance you know um because you're like free you know and you feel great and you're like let's like do it and Pumped like yeah. it was so funny i i changed careers three years ago like actually i shaved my head and then changed careers which kind of mm -hmm. wasn't the plan but that's what ended up happening yeah 
So everybody in this new industry that I'm in, I'm in sales now. So everybody that I work with and who knows me has always known that I've had a shaved head. Yeah. And then when they, it was so funny because then I was like, yeah, because I used to have hair. And they're like, what? <laughs> and I show them a picture and they're like, oh, I like you so much better with your buzz head. Yeah. You yeah. know, like this is so much better. Yeah. You know? So that's also kind of funny. So, you know, um, yeah, that was just like a little tidbit. But. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Take, you know, you've got this new, you do have a newfound confidence, you know, mm -hmm. because I yep. think, and I think a lot of that comes through the action of, it's something you've kind of maybe struggled, well, I say you in, in the sense of everyone, right? Some struggled right. to to deal with for so so long. And mm -hmm. then now you finally said, no, like I'm not having this anymore. Like I'm done right. with this. And you've made the decision to take action on it. And you sort of, you really show yourself, well, hang on a minute. Like if I can just do that, then what else can I do? You know, right. maybe I yeah. should, you know, let's go ask for a raise, you know, let's yeah. try a new career. Let's pick right. up, take a new, up a new sport or something, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And um, yeah, I would, I would say that's exactly right. Yeah. Yep. Good stuff. Well, listen, Bryce, it's um, been a pleasure talking to you, man. Thank you so yeah, much. You too. I'll sign off with the camera quickly. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching and listening. I hope you enjoyed Bryce's story. Um, I'll put links down. And of course, you saw the pictures there. We'll put links to his Instagram post as well. We will see you next time. Goodbye. Awesome.